Today we are making egg fried rice with vegetables that would either make Uncle Roger say Fuyo. or Hiya. Let's first smash our leftover rice and begin working on our vegetables. Slice the bitter gourd thinly and then soak it in hot water. Alternatively, it can be boiled as well. You might be thinking, why bitter gourd? Trust me, these bitter gourds are not too bitter and will provide a good contrast to this sweet and savory dish. Now on to our next ingredient. Peel a piece of carrot and julienne them, then cut them into cubes. The carrots will provide additional sweetness as well. Last to our vegetable ingredients is the chopped baby asparagus. Usually in Chinese fried rice, chopped string beans is used but since we only have asparagus in the fridge, so that's what we're using today. Time to smash those garlic cloves and mince them real good. Oh yeah. Now crack two eggs in a bowl. Season the egg with salt and pepper to amplify its flavor. Then time to whisk those eggs. In hot wok, put in olive oil and a dash of sesame oil followed by the minced garlic and stir making sure it's not burnt. Though we personally prefer our garlic browned which gives more aroma. Now put in the Chinese sausage which should give sweetness next to the carrots. Then time to put in the beaten eggs. Cook the eggs to your liking, then put in the star of the show, the rice. I hope Uncle Roger goes easy on us when he sees us using a wok on an induction stove. Sorry Uncle Roger, but you know how most flats are in Malaysia, right? I'll just shut up for now since we all know that the sound of sizzle is way better than my yapping. Okay, I'm back. Once rice is all mixed, then time to put in our ingredients. Let's start off with the carrots. You can in fact mix the carrots and asparagus now and call it a day, but you can also have the option to cook the carrots a bit and then put in the asparagus later. Seriously, it's your choice. Okay, so more stirring and less talking. Let's enhance the dish's flavor by adding salt and flavored pepper. And when I said flavored, I meant the one that Uncle Roger would no doubt choose over Auntie Helen. Okay fine, it's MSG. Make sure to stir it well. Forgive my tossing, I'm so bad at it as you can see. And of course, make sure to taste as you go. If everything tastes good, then time to put in the chopped asparagus. Add the asparagus just before serving to give our fried rice a bit of crunch. Asparagus are very nutritious and can also be eaten raw. At last, drain the bitter gourd from water and then put it in. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, please feel free to hit the like and it wouldn't hurt if you click on the subscribe button would it? Thanks and till next time.